It's member-supported Hawaii Public Radio, and all things considered, I'm Dave Lawrence. Thank you so much for joining us. We're in our Atherton Performing Arts Studio. This is a great room to get to spend time in, and it's even better when you have the Delfio Marsalis Quintet, who are in the room here. They're uh, through tonight, 6.30 and 9, Blue Note. It's Delfio Marsalis, trombone, Berkeley grad, Mark Gross, alto sax, also a Berkeley grad, Richard Johnson on the piano, three Berkeley graduates in one room. David Polfus on bass, studied and played with your father, I understand, and not a Berkeley grad, though. <laughs> and Miles Labatt, drums, not a Berkeley grad, but all very finely dressed gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining us. Delighted to be here. We always love coming to Hawaii. Ah, it's great to have you, and you were a guest on the phone a few years ago, so it's great to actually make the, the personal connection here. And we're set for some live music. How about we get into a tune just to so that you get a little closer to our Atherton Performing Arts Studio. Yes, indeed. It's a tune we wrote a couple of years back, and uh, this is, you know, we like to have a good time and celebrate in New Orleans. So this is one that's attributed to one of our folk heroes, none other than the venerable Br'er Rabbit.
tasty business. Yes, sir. I love it. Right here in our Atherton Performing Arts Studio, Delphio Marsalis Quintet. And we have uh, just, I love it when a band can come in here and just blaze right off the bat like that. Sometimes people need a little time to warm up. That's what I was thinking maybe you do, but you're just... Totally on fire, my brother. Um, so you're, you guys are at the Blue Note, and with, with a legacy of music, both the stuff that, that you've done throughout your life, recorded-wise, but also the things that I know you're interested in. When it comes to making a set list for a gig like this, what's going to be, I mean, are you doing, you got a number of different sets you're doing, do you do the same set each night because you now have a routine, or, or how, right. how does it happen? Well, it kind of depends, and my main thing is I like to usually start off with slow blues. That's usually mm -hmm. the way we start off because we want the people to become acquainted with who we are mm -hmm. and just have a nice, relaxed environment. And then from there, it's kind of, I would say, I like to, to pick up the pace and then maybe play something with rhythm, and then we're going to play something funky. But the, the main thing I'd say is, is I look at, I'm a big fan of kind of the Disney movies and the way <laughs> that they, they addressed emotionally. So mm -hmm. a lot of times the set list, will, so you have something that's maybe – uh, very dramatic, and then we'll follow that with something that's you know very very happy or something that's more uh, you know easygoing. I'd say I love that. One time on the uh, the show I do, all things considered, they were talking about the the way notes can be used to manipulate people's emotion in pop music and the whole structuring. So it's like using some of that theory with the show to try to because music does evoke emotion. I like that. That's a an answer I don't know I've ever heard before. Right. Well, you know, and what we find that the challenging part in jazz education has become so large in the past thirty years, but uh, in codifying the music, it's the toughest thing is to get the students to understand the emotional responsibility mm. as a performer. So what we're trying to do is, is go old school on them. And the idea is not that we want to sound like the old guys, but right. we want to take those elements that are really important. important. Right. Yes. That makes total sense. Total sense. So make America great again. Mm. Yes, sir. That's a phrase we hear a lot these days. And it's your latest record, right? Yeah. Or have you recorded another one? It hasn't come out yet. Right. Yes, we have a new one out called Kalamazoo. But, uh, you know, one of the great things about Maptown Jazz Orchestra in New Orleans is that we like to create spontaneous songs. So we'll just come up with a theme and we'll a lot of times ask for audience participation. And I believe June 1st of 2016 was such a night. We had completed the CD. It was going to be entitled Living Free and Running Wild. And this particular night, we asked the audience, we said, OK, uh, what key would you like us to play? And they said E flat and A, so E flat, A minor. And then we said, what theme would you like us to put into musical terms? Someone in the back says, make America great again. <laughs> of course, some people would be like, boo. And I said, and I, said right. I said, no, you know, it's a great idea. So the challenge for us was to actually put into musical terms that idea. And I said, okay, so we started off with more of a, an old New Orleans vaudeville sound. We said, okay, I guess folks thought that things were better in like the 20s or the 30s. So we started off there, and then we switched up gears and went to a more of a modern sound. Right, there's everything on there. So we created that song on the spot and were fortunate enough to record it. And when I heard it, I said, man, we need to record this. We went into the studio, recorded it, and then added narration, and the rest is history, as they say. Some great tunes on there. Um, and sometimes when you look at them, I mean, you got the Star Spangled Banner mm -hmm. appropriately. So, so while it's a musical palette and you've kind of turned the phrase on your own way of doing it, it's still, to me, it imbues some sort of, uh, of a political stance back to Africa, another one of the tunes right. on there. Right. Well, you know, my idea is that, is that the Africans in America have been demonized for so long, African descendants, and they've given so much. I mean, they came to the country in the worst possible situations. They lived there. They gave everything they had, and they, they responded to kind of the, the hostility and the hatred with love and beauty and joy. And that's what the great thing about being from New Orleans is that you feel that right. people say, man, what is it that's so special about New Orleans? And it's the fact that we were colonized by the French not the British. It's a gumbo of things that are going on down it's there. It's beautiful, that's, and yeah. that's what we're trying to, we, and like the song you just heard, that, that joy and that celebration, man, that comes straight out of Africa. So we want to celebrate the, the beautiful things that we, you know, we love the cuisine, the gumbo and the jambalaya, man, that's all Africa. Everything about New Orleans, to me, most of the unique aspects of American culture have ties into the motherland, so we wanted to celebrate that. Uh, it's a great city. I did Jazz Fest one time. I'll never forget it. It was just a great... Uh, you got to come back. I know, brother. That's what I <laughs> believe me. I feel like the world's just got so much to see. So you get you feel bad going back to the same spots. How about another jam? Uh, something that you, you you tell me what? Maybe it's something that you might lay on folks at the Blue Note. Maybe it's just something the room you like the way the room sounds. Maybe it would feel good, or maybe the emotion of the song would. Right. Feel. We'll start. We're gonna generally we would not take this much of a dramatic turn. But here's another original composition. Uh, speaking of the Africans, and this is based on our fictitious story about two guys who are laborers. 
after the Civil War. And due to the change in legislation, no more totally free labor. In order to work the fields from sunup to sundown, you have to sign a 10-year contract. And at the end of that 10 years, the foreman would come by. He'd have a nice long clipboard, a nice long list. And he'd say, well, you got to pay for rent. He said, you had a Sunday suit. You broke a hammer and a sickle in the fifth year. And he, after he got to the end of the, the list, there was but one conclusion could be made. You got to sign on for another 10 years. So this song is about their journey northward. We call this Lost in the Crescent.
Delphia Marsalis Quintet. They are in our Atherton Performing Arts Studio, playing some soulful music tonight, 6.30 and 9 at the Blue Note. A real thrill to have you guys here. Thank you very much. Yes, and, sir. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I wanted to wrap up on a note of giving back. Your Uptown Music Theater mm-hmm. is something that's near and dear to your heart, inspired by your brother, Mboya Kenyatta. Mboya. Mm-hmm. How'd I do on that one? Yes, sir. That's it. <laughs> Share the story because it's an inspiring one, and um, it's always great to give people um, a chance to hear something inspiring because you never know how they might give back based on hearing your story. All right. Well, you know, we grew up in Kenner, Louisiana, and at the time it was Branford, Winton, Ellis, and myself and my two parents. We had a very small house. We shared bedrooms. And uh, in 1970, Mboya, Mboya was born. And uh, we found out, I guess when he was about two or three years old, that he had autism. And it was back before there was autism awareness. And, you know, my mother spent the majority of the rest of her life really making sure that he had the, the the proper facilities at his disposal, and that she took care of him. And being the the youngest next after me, I spent a lot of time growing up with him. And I guess there was something where I never wanted to believe for many years that there were certain things that he wasn't capable of learning and not communicating. He's nonverbal. And uh, so when I became, you know, a little older, I realized that I kind of had a gift of working with young people based on my relationship with him. So I decided to start the Uptown Music Theater, and we teach uh, young people musical theater. And we chose musical theater instead of music because it requires more elements. So someone that likes to sing, for example, can join and someone that likes to dance. And also they get a good idea of of the teamwork that's necessary for success. And to date, we have two of our former students are on Broadway. Uh, The youngest is 11 years old, Nala Hamilton. She's actually playing the role of Nala in The Lion King right now. And we have a young man by the name of Donald Jones who is uh, in Aladdin. He is the genie and Aladdin. Fantastic. And we've sent another young man to the Juilliard School of Jazz, and he's there now. So, uh, you know, the idea is just to, to give the students the, the type of training that we were we benefited from, you know, by which I mean my, my brothers and myself. Uh, we benefited from a, a very conservatory-level training from right. a young age, and that's what we try to provide for the students. It's a great thing. And you've had a lot of, uh, a lot of training and a lot of training in this room all you cats are so <laughs> heavily experienced three dudes from berkeley i was just around the corner at emerson but i was eating pizza across the street supreme from. pizza that's that, right yeah, yeah. It, does, it does not get better my brother <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're right yes sir so uh before we uh wrap it up how about one more jam you pick something whatever you like i just really appreciate all of what you've done so far it feels so nice and it's great that you bring your uh your warm energy into our yes, room. sir we like to close it out with a, 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 a favorite a staple of the new orleans music scene, Lil Liza Jane. Thank you. 
<laughs> live uh, in our Atherton Performing Arts Studio, Delphio, Marsalis, Quintet, and Blue Note 630 and 9 tonight. Mark Gross on alto sax, Richard Johnson on the piano, David Pulfus on the bass, Miles Labat or Labat? Labat. Labat. Thank you. That's it's an either old name. <laughs> exactly. Old name. Miles Labat on the drums and uh, another one of these fine Berkeley grads that you're toting along with you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for joining us in our Atherton and, and doing this, and I really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun, sounding great. All right, glad to be here. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Delphio Marcellus, and you're in a great place. So don't even remotely contemplate touching that dial. You're tuned to our friend Dave Lawrence. Aloha, Dave. It's all things considered on member-supported Hawaii Public Radio. But get that member-supported. That's how this place operates. So we all have to do our part, and we hope that you will do your part and become a member right now. And thanks for giving HBR a helping hand.